Casper, is Casper dead? That is a question I've seen on many YouTube channels and I've not actually spoke about it on this channel for quite some time. I do own Casper and if you didn't know, I bought it just under four cents. So I am up on Casper, um, done about a three X, but however, it's not officially into the full bull run yet. I believe it's got potential to go far, but there are a few things that people have got concerns on with Casper that I'm going to talk about in this video. So, you know, Casper does have unique features, the Ghost Dag protocol, and its mission to create a fast, scalable layer one. Now, we know what happened with Casper when we all first bought it, or maybe you got in late. Um, it was around over a year now. Um, I started talking about about June 23, and the price just kept going up every single day, every single week. It was like it was in a bear market, a, a bull market, because it just kept going up. We've seen a lot of sideways action for Casper since, and every time it kind of gets up to my first kind of profit target, uh, which is 5x, and I take 20% out, that's you know another another video, it drops back down. So it's around 13 cents at the moment, at the time of recording, and it kind of gets up to that 19 cents level. I want it to get to 20. Then it drops back down and goes sideways, and that's where it's kind of been for quite... Um, a long time now obviously if you just owned casper and it was the you're a maxi the only thing in your portfolio you're probably getting frustrated because other coins have gone up and you know people will be taking profits on other coins that is something i teach to the guys in my trading program the crypto masterclass link in description if you want to book a call but for casper there was actually an interesting thing that came out a few months ago where it was smart contracts and it was the fact that a third party was enabling smart contracts if you went through a, uh, a particular protocol casper itself does not have smart contracts on it officially okay and there was talk of this third party with the smart contracts the first meme coin on casper uh, some i had a call with someone who was talking about this and getting excited about it but I think the main thing with Casper is obviously it's looking at being the most scalable, the fastest, is the ecosystem. Okay? And the ecosystem is not like a lot of other layer ones. Okay? And that is probably a challenge that is facing Casper compared to other layer ones, of course, of similar, you know, kind of size. You know, the traditional layer ones, I would say Ethereum's the main one. But what smart contracts enable you to do is to have a lot of other projects on it, have stable coins on it. You can stake and lock up coins on it. Obviously, Casper is a proof of work, so you can't stake Casper. But when you've got smart contracts, it enables you to do a lot on that particular chain, okay? And if we look at, you know, Casper itself, uh, around 3 billion market cap, you look at its competitors, obviously ETH is, you know, insane the size that is, but if we were to compare it with something not too far away, which will be Avalanche. Avalanche is around 10, 11 billion market cap at the time of recording. If Casper was to reach the same market cap as Avalanche, it'd be around 44 cents. And that's around a three and a half X off. That'd be really good for me with my profit targets but what does avalanche have and i'm not just picking up avalanche here i don't own it i have had you know i have bought it in the past what does avalanche have and all these other layer ones have that casper doesn't may not be as fast may not be as scalable but they have a lot going on within the ecosystem so with most kind of layer ones they will have the base layer coin which is casper in this case, Avalanche, they will have um, layer twos that you can build on top of it. They will have a DEX, so a decentralized exchange, usually a main one that, you know, people use to swap between the tokens on the ecosystem. So obviously Ethereum has Uniswap, Binance Smart Chain has PancakeSwap, Avalanche has Trader Joe, and they, they have their own tokens as well. And within those decentralized exchanges, you can get involved in DeFi. You can farm tokens, stake tokens, 
loan tokens, all within that ecosystem. What you can also do is have stable coins. So there is wrapped USDC, wrapped USDT, the two main stable coins, both on Avalanche. You can use them within that ecosystem. And as well as that, there's a lot of projects built on all these chains, uh, cha all these chains, loads on Avalanche, loads on Card. Uh, there's not many on Cardano to be honest with you. <laughs> Uh, Ethereum, there's loads, Solana, there's loads. And obviously, what happens when you've got low fees? People create meme coins on them. And again, that brings a lot of people into the space of the ecosystem of that particular token. How many meme coins have you seen this year on Solana? Bonk, uh, we've had Brett on the base chain. There's, there's all these meme coins, and that would definitely bring, although I hate meme coins, bring people into the Casper ecosystem. We don't have any of that. Literally, none of that at the moment. So where do we go from here? Where do we go from here with Casper? Well, its market cap and price are smaller than Cardano and Solana by a long shot. It's far from dead, but it does face challenges in competing with these giants. Now, the Gustag protocol does set it apart from traditional blockchains by allowing parallel blocks, aiming to enhance the scalability and speed. However, it was it does remain to be seen if this, you know, the tech is going to attract more users or people who just go to the established networks that have the thriving ecosystems with a lot of money locked up. If you go on DeFi Llama, you look at the total value locked for all these changes that I spoke about, and there's a lot, okay? Casper is in the early stages of gaining traction, okay? So the question for you is whether the innovation that, that they're kind of looking at proposing and doing can lead to the future growth or if it'll struggle to break into the top tier space of the traditional layer ones that I have mentioned. Now, I think Casper can do that, but it needs to kind of have the official smart contracts implementing implemented because once it does that then you get all these other coins that can be built on the uh, within the ecosystem the idea of casper is it's a mixture between a proof of work and a proof of stake ethereum and uh bitcoin they think they have solved the trilemma of the uh, scalability uh, security um scalability i'm trying to remember it now scalability security and speed those three things, you can only have two out of the three usually, and Casper is saying that it's solved all three. We need this ecosystem in place, though, to prove that particular point. That's it for me today. Do you own Casper? Do you not own Casper? Let me know what your thoughts are. That is it for me today. If you do like my content, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys very soon.